Hi, my name is Scott Strohs, and this is MySQL Shorts. Have you ever needed to import CSV data into a MySQL database? Keep watching and we'll show you how. Before we get started, let's take a look at the data we'll be importing. We can see that we have columns for ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. Next, we'll use MySQL Shell to connect to an instance of MySQL running on my local machine. We can use the describe command to take a look at the schema of the table where we're going to import our data. Notice that the column names in the table match the column names in the CSV file. Before we can import this file, we need to make sure the local in file variable is set to on. We do this by using the command set global local in file equals on. To import our file, we use the util.import table method. This method takes two arguments. The first is the path to the file, and the second is a JSON object with configuration options. These options include the schema, which is MySQL shorts, the table, which is CSV import. We use skip rows set to one because the first row in our CSV file had header information. We specify that each line is terminated by a line break and we specify that each field is terminated by a comma. When we execute this command, we'll see information about all the data that was imported. We can verify the data was imported by running select star from MySQL shorts dot CSV import. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, there'll be a link in the description for any code or files we used during this video.